Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there. How are you doing? It's Big Porky here. The voice of hardcore boxing. Now, for all you people who haven't subscribed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It's just below. It's a red button. You press it and then you're subscribed. And you get your Porky fix straight to your phone every day. Because I've got some corker, corker videos coming out in next week. Now I'm going to get straight to the point. Two seconds. I'm just, uh, I'm just having a whiskey. It's called uh, Summit Shoulder. I forgot. Is it whiskey shoulder or something? It's uh, the next summit that somebody bought me a pal. So thank you very much. I forgot the first name of it. But it's nice with some ice. It's uh, nice to get a bit of peace and talk boxing. Uh, I'm just gonna go straight. I'm just gonna come straight into it. No messing about at all. Sat here in my dressing gown. With my name on my dressing gown. Russell. <laughs> right, Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury's been talking with Eddie Earn. Uh It's up to Tyson if he wants to talk to Eddie. Nobody's doing anything wrong, but personally, everything that I've said in the last few months, well, it's all coming true now, isn't it? Go back a few months, you'll see my video. I told you Billy Joe were going to join Matchroom, and I told you Tyson Fury going to join Matchroom. If Tyson Fury is not going to Matchroom, why is he talking to Eddie Hearn? Why has Tyson Fury and Wilder got no press conferences lined up Wales only just fought in November Tyson fought September Tyson's eye can't be sorted yet the fact that they're not selling the our side of the show to me indicates that the fight's not going to happen if I'm wrong so be it I mean I got it wrong didn't I about Andy Ruiz but he was injured wasn't he and he did try and pull out and Eddie Hearn stood firm so all you people saying, oh, Porky, you got it wrong, you're a hater, you're a hater. Porky, you're a hater. Well, you know, it is what it is, isn't it? I got it right, and Andy Ruiz did try and pull out. Do you know what I mean? I got it right about Billy Joe. I got it right about Kel Brook. I'm right about a lot of stuff. I can only go on what I hear. But what I will say is this, if it don't work out with Sugar Hill and Andy Lee, do you know what people will be saying? They'll be saying, go to Adam Booth, go to Adam Booth, Adam Booth is the best, go to Adam Booth. Because that's what people say when you need a, need a new trainer. You go to Adam Booth because technically he probably is one of the best trainers. But he's got a nickname, hasn't he? The Dark Lord. Go to the Dark Lord. Adam Boo. He's the best. The Dark Lord. Listen. Tyson Fury is going to sign for Eddie Earn, And Eddie Earn's going to promote him. And you heard it here on Porky's Corner. I've been saying it for ages. Him and Frank Warren. They're going to end up in court. Get ready. There's a lot of people around Tyson at the moment. A lot of people in his ear. And there's a lot of things going on behind the scenes. We've already seen one mistake. Look, Tyson's already shown that he doesn't handle pressure very good. He makes rash, rash decisions. He didn't handle it very good when he beat Vladimir. He did his best not to take that 6.7 million offer to fight Vladimir in rematch. He did his best to swerve Vladimir. I don't want to hear about cocaine. And then refusal of drug tests. And blaming that on the Nandrolone one. I don't want to hear about all that. They want a problem with that. The Nandrolone thing want a problem. You has got dealt with. You we were fighting while it were all pending. There were no problem with that. No problem at all. He didn't want to fight Vladimir, did he? Had Vladimir worked him out? I don't know. He got school in the first fight. But Tyson didn't want to fight him in rematch. Why would you not want to fight for 6.7 million? I don't know, but I wish Tyson all the best. But everybody in the boxing circle knows 
that you know he's been texting back and forward and blah de blah with Eddie Hearn. It's common knowledge in the industry that Eddie Hearn is doing his best to get Tyson Fury on board. And Eddie Hearn is at the top of his game. He is big. He's number one. You know, I'm not happy about that. I don't think Eddie Hearn's got the... I don't think he's got class, to be honest. I think he's a bit of a bully. But it is what it is. The ma the manipulating everybody, aren't they? He's got Coogan there. Coogan Cassius is the middleman. He's the middle man. He's the middleman in the Eddie Hearn Tyson Fury on-off saga. The Eddie Hearn Tyson Fury loving Coogan Cassius is the middleman. He's the one that will get the blame. He'll get the pats on the back off Eddie, and he'll get the blame off Frank Warren. That's just boxing. It's a business. Just like Eddie Hearn controls twelve of the top twenty-five heavyweights. Now, some years ago, Don King controlled 11 of the top 15 WBC fighters. Are we seeing a similar path? There were no box wreck then. Eddie's got 12 of the top 25. If he signs Tyson Fury, he's dealing with 13 of the top 25 boxers. And outside that 25, he's got Tom Little and Dave Allen hanging out at the back of him. So, it is what it is, isn't it? He's got the monopoly, he's got the platforms, he's got Coogan Cassius running around doing as he's told for Eddie Hearn. He's even going to darts now. Now, Dennis has put in an event on in a couple of weeks that's not boxing related, it's football, because obviously Dennis owns Matlock Town, doesn't he? But is Coogan going to go to Matlock Town? Dennis is the president of Matlock Town. So is Coogan Cassius going to go to see Dennis at Matlock Town and talk to him about boxing while at Matlock? No. So why is Coogan going to match them dart events? I don't get that. Does anybody get that? But yet he's not employed by Matchroom. But yet he's doing one hour... One hour... Sorry. One hour, 47 minute interviews with Eddie Hearn. But he's not employed by Matchroom. Coogan... Who are you employed by? Are you is Coogan Cassius the owner of IFL or is does IFL mean Eddie Earn? Does Eddie Earn own IFL? Because I'm confused. If you go Right, two seconds, two seconds. Let me just take this. I've got I've just realised I've got to go out in a minute. If you go on Coogan Cassius's website, it's called IFL. On every single video every single video right if you go on to the bit below on the video on your computers it says and i quote links it's got links for matchroom stuff and and and, and every everything matchroom that's what it got lit it's got links for everything matchroom so is eddie hearn employing coogan cassius i don't know i don't know but Something is not right, isn't it? Something's not right. So, so I feel that the fans should know this. Now, Coogan Cassius is at the top of his game. He's he's big. He's number one. Eddie's big. He's number one. Coogan's probably not number one in views. He's probably not number one in views, but Coogan is probably number one in interviewing technique. He's very, very good. He's like Park. I think he's a very, very, very good. He's a very good interviewer, in in my opinion. I think he's very good. I think he's uh, what's the word? Very patient in front of the camera. And I think he'll go all the way. Well, he's gone all the way, hasn't he? He's got he's got the monopoly, hasn't he? He's got Eddie Hearn, the biggest promoter in world boxing. He's at all with him. He's at the darts. He's probably living in Eddie Hearn's spare bedroom out there at Ingleston, Ingleston or Stock, wherever it is. He's living there in his spare bedroom. He is promoting Matchroom now. Fair enough. We know that he's got links to Queensbury shows and Tommy Fury, this and blah de blah. But when Eddie Hearn signs Tyson Fury, and he will sign him, sure as eggs are eggs, this year... At some stage, Tyson Fury will be a matchroom fighter. He'll be promoted by matchroom and advised by MTK, but Coogan will get the blame. Now, I heard Coogan got the blame for the Billy Joe thing, but 
when you're employed by MTK, nobody wants to say a word. Do they? Oh, can't say anything. It's MTK. Oh, can't do anything. Can't say a word. It's MTK. MTK have done well for boxing, but we all know that Coogan were middleman for Billy Joe thing, don't we? And quite rightly so. Boxers have to do what's best for them. Billy Joe Saunders is multi-skilled. Tyson Fury is multi-skilled. They've got to do the best. Now, Tyson Fury and Billy Joe, they don't have an elite win, do they? Except Vladimir, who were in his 40th year. Billy Joe's got David Lemieux, Andy Lee, Chris Eubank. And I think that's about it, really, isn't it? They're Billy Joe's wins. He's got three decent wins. Tyson's got two plus the wilder draw, hasn't he? They're at the top of the game. The, the, the Jew, these kids have got massive profiles. Their profiles don't match their achievements, I don't think. I don't, honestly. No, I don't. But I think that the skill-wise, I think they're up there. People give me a lot of grief of a day because I said that Tyson Fury and Billy Joe remind me of Muhammad Ali and Ray Leonard. They're the Muhammad Ali and Ray Leonard of their day. Well, why not? Ray Leonard won a middleweight title and a super middle. Billy Joe's won a middle and a super middle. Tyson's won heavyweight championship, undisputed, unified, or whatever you want to call it. Muhammad Ali did that three times. Tyson's done it once. Billy Joe's undefeated. Ray Leonard got beat, didn't he? Three or four, three times in a draw. Tyson's had a draw, but he's undefeated. Ali got beat five times, so is Ali better than Tyson? Is Tyson better than Ali? Probably not, but it's different era, isn't it? Ali would be a cruiserweight if he fought today. Tyson's technically a super heavyweight, but his skills are off the charts. But Tyson's also a businessman. He's got singles out, hasn't he? He's, been, he's, he's uh, got a book out, he's got reality TV, look, he's a businessman, he gets it, he does appearances, he gets it, but who's he fighting, he's just fought Otto Wallin and till he beats Wilder we can't really say he's the best can we? Probably it's a three way coin now who's the best, Tyson, Wilder, Joshua, you can argue a case for them all can't you, but Joshua's got four belts. Wilder's the longest reigning champion. Tyson won his belt. His only world title win, 2015. But he's going to go to Matchroom. He will go to Matchroom. I've got look at my arms hurting. I've been training today. He will go to Matchroom, Tyson Fury. Sure as eggs are eggs. That's where he's heading now. If people don't like that, don't like it. But well, that's where Tyson Fury is heading to match room. Now, there's no press tour for, for uh, Fury Wilder rematch. Why's that? Wilder Fury, Fury Wilder. Why is there no press tour? Why? Why is there no press tour? Why don't they want to spend what they normally spend on a press tour? Is it 1.2 million, 1.4 million they spend on a press tour? A, a, a fight like that is the equivalent of Ray Leonard against Duran rematch they had a press tour so how come this has not got a press tour so we've got no press tour whatsoever and the fight and the fight next month i don't get it if the fight goes ahead i hope the best man wins and they get home safe to the family but i'm sceptical i am sceptical about boxing because i see things that other people you, you a lot a lot of people who who watch my channel don't see there is a couple of things I do want to mention on the channel but I can't mention them just yet I've been told I can't but don't believe everything you hear it's a bit like no I can't say it but you know I, I give too much on this channel and I, there's a line that I can't cross at certain times I have to wait till somebody says yeah you can put that out but I'm giving you enough clues for you all to, to read between lines and do your own work. I mean, Chris Ogden, he, 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 he gets it sometimes. He's, he's just sent me a few messages and he gets it. But, you know, I, I'm going to do a video in a minute and, and you're going to hear a voice, a voice message. So keep watching my channel. In this next video I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to put, give you some clues. And, and then I'm, I'm, I'm trying to narrate a story so you all get it, but... You know, it's not hard to work out, is it really? You know, if you're a promoter, you need a platform. If you've got a platform in England, you need one in America. 
and then you need somebody to nip it all together for all like the interviews and the boxes and somebody to mingle that's Coogan Cassius that's what he does he's fantastic at his job he's best interviewer out there I wouldn't say he's like a technical guy with boxing and stats and stuff like that but he's very I think he's very calm in his interviews and I think very very good I think me and Dennis think he's really really good at interviewing he doesn't ask the right questions though but then again he's got to think of himself and he's a businessman too but he's very good at his job Coogan but also he's very very cunning and he knows he's very cunning he plays the game doesn't he I don't play the game I rant and scream and rant I've just had a text off Dennis keep your cool don't blow a gasket if I blow a gasket me I'm you know somebody's nearly crashed head on into my car you know I've had to pull onto the curb and I've curbed it so it's an alloy a tyre and a tyre sensor then you've got to have alloy painted aren't you once you've bought it so it's a dear doing it a woman's like oh I'm very sorry you know and my access is 600 quid on my car <laughs> and I think it's just under that what it's going to cost so it's not good is it not a good start to the year I think this time last year the exact same day didn't I lose my flight and everything to Dennis's wedding they, won't, they arrested me didn't they getting on the plane or going through the last door to get on the plane it was a year was it a year ago today and the exact same quote what I've just got to do on my car today because at the moment it's got one of them, them uh, space uh, wheels on it the exact same the, the exact cost of the flight is exactly what the cost is for me wheel to get for me wheel to get done next week on car and it happened on the same day so is that a, is that a sign is that a sign that I'm going mad I don't know but Tyson Fury is doing his best to, to get away from BT Sport he wants to fight Joshua for the big money doesn't he? he wants two fights with Joshua and then I let game that's what he wants will he do that with BT Sport no he won't because Matchroom are not going to have a BT Sport and Sky Sport joint show everybody in the boxing circle knows that Tyson Fury will know that so and he's a businessman and we've already seen what Tyson thinks about people in industry it was with Mick Hennessy from 2008 2008 it was with Mick and look what he said about Carl Frotch leaving Mick said Carl Frotch traded Mick now Carl Frotch did what was best for him he thought at the time Tyson Fury did what he thought were best for him. He left Mick Hennessy. He left him. After eight years with Mick. He left him after eight years. So what, what do you think to that? We like that him and Mick, weren't they? Peter Fury. He, knew, he knows Peter's with Mick, doesn't he? He left Peter his uncle. And there's a divide there. I'm not going to go into that. He's having to look after himself. Tyson's looking after himself. And quite rightly so. But people in boxing, they get trampled along the way, don't they? Because it's a business, isn't it? It's a business mixed up with fighting and emotions. It's just like Fred Bloggs working at Polypipe in Edlington and leaving to work at Epworth in Edlington. All his family might be at Polypipe and his friends, but there's a better deal at Epworth. What's he going to do? Is it better shifts? He might not have to work nights. He might be able to work days and not weekends and more money or quicker paid or there's all sorts of permutations boxers get called whores but they have to look after themselves and quite rightly so they're the ones in the ring they're the ones taking the punches aren't they do you know what I mean so I just want to see good fights I want to see Tyson Fury Joshua I want to see press conferences I want to see Tyson tell Joshua about things that have gone on in Joshua's past a lot of things that I know about but the fans don't know about I want to hear Tyson call it on and build the fight up and I want to see Joshua's reaction and I want to see all that but if the match and we're not going to work with BT Sport Eddie Hearn's going to dig the screws in now on Frank Warren that's what's going on behind the scenes Eddie Hearn is twisting the knife you know like Van Dyke and Gomez at Liverpool and Henderson, they strangle game, don't they? They strangle the Liverpool are strangling teams. Eddie Hearn is strangling Frank Warren at the moment. He's got Frank like that. Ah, Frank's like that. Ah. 
with his fish eyes like that. He's like that, staring at Eddie, and Eddie's like that. This is for what you did to my dad, Frank. And Frank's like, oh, do me a favour, I'll fucking kill you. So that's what's happening at the moment. Tyson Fury's looking to jump ship and nobody dare say a word about it. And there's all these actors and people in the scene and all that and nobody dare say, oh, but Pork is the one that's come out with it. I came out with it months ago. And when he does go to match him, everybody's going to say, Porky, you were right. Listen, who would have ever said that Peter Fury and Yui Fury had gone to match him? Who would have said Billy Joe Saunders had gone there after everything Billy Joe Saunders said? But in the cold light of day, when that boxer puts his head down on that pillar at night, if he's unhappy and he's going to go to where he earned, the people are going to say, yeah, hey, you're a whore, you're this, you're that. After a few weeks, like a few weeks gone by and it's all forgot about, Frank probably send a few legal letters and everybody moves on. That's it. But the moral of the story is this. Tyson Fury and Ben Davison were friends to the end. Friends to the end. My hero. Blood brothers. Well, look what happened there. It's boxing, it's a business. Tyson Fury is a pound for pound masterful boxer. He's got every belt that is known to man. English, British, Irish, Commonwealth, European and four wheel title belts in a ring magazine. There's only WBC left. And once he's fought Wilder twice, if he wins them two belts, can you imagine him against Joshua? Oh my God. What about if Wilder beats Fury next, then Fury beats him in the second fight? Oh my God! It'd be unbelievable, wouldn't it? Unbelievable! But it's a business. Tyson's gonna do what's best for Tyson. Yeah, I'm gutted he's not with Peter Fury. Do you know what I mean? And I like happy endings, don't I? That's what I like. But you know, Peter's got you and they've got plenty of time on their hands. But I like happy endings. I like Dennis Hobson and Clinton Woods. Dennis is my mentor and probably one of my best friends, but I like him and Clinton Woods. You know why? And Clinton's my pal, but I like the story. Area belt, British Commonwealth European world title. Clinton fought Roy Jones. Nine year later, he's still in world title fights. Sorry, seven year later, he's fighting his ninth world title fight over a period of 15 fights from Jones to Tavares Cloud. He got out at the top, didn't he? Failing to win him back his IBF belt. You know, he dined at the top table in a period where he had a trilogy with Glenn Johnson and there were Ta Antonio Tarver and there were a right mix of fighters, weren't there, back in them days? Like there is now at light heavyweight. And Tyson knows that he's good enough to beat everybody, but the secret and the name of the game is to get as much money as possible. Now, BT Sport, they want to work with Sky Sports, don't they? Frank Warren keeps putting it out in enough interviews, doesn't he? But you've not heard Eddie Earn once, have you? Say, yeah, I want to work with, uh, with BT Sport. Sky and BT want to do a joint promotion. They don't want to do it, do they? They don't want to do it. Now, I used to say they might not do it down the line, but I don't think they will. Eddie's going to want to take over boxing, isn't he? And it looks like it's going that way, doesn't it? Nobody can say that Eddie Earn is not an hard-working lad. Eddie gets it, doesn't he? He knows he's got two platforms at either side of the pond. Throw in Coogan Cassius to nip everything to together, glue everything together, Throw in Boxing Social and all these other YouTube channels who were hanging out at back of Eddie. And let's have it right. Boxing with Eddie, I used to follow, but he's now hanging out the back of Eddie. And what he's done, he's piggybacked onto Rob Tebbett at Boxing Social to get in with Matchroom and good luck to him. It's not my style because I'm a critic. I'm a boxing critic. I don't like bullshit. I don't like bullshit. I don't like to hear knackers. I've grown, in, I've grown up in a mining village, I've heard it all. Over 10 years served in prison, I've heard every story there is to hear. I've met every Porsche driver in the world in prison and when you meet them out here they're living in a bed seat. I've heard it all. I've seen it, done it, I've got the t-shirt, I've got them all ironed in here. 
There's a few cheapos, there's about 25 Lacoste ones, that's it. They're all frayed now, I need some new ones. I'm, I'm, I'm getting skinny and aren't I? I need, just, I need an XXL instead of XXXL. Or oh, I need to get them tuck in. Look, moral of the story is this, right? Tyson Fury is going to be gone soon from, from BT Sport. He'll be gone and he's going to be a match run fighter. No ifs or buts. That's where he's going. You heard it here first. I told you months ago anyway. I told you Billy Joe were on his way. Everybody said they were crackers. Porky, you're a hater. You're a hater. You need to go to Adam Boom. He's the best. But no. Dark squad. Dark squad. Look, Wilder's not a ducker. Wilder beat Luis Ortiz twice. Eddie Hearn signed Luis Ortiz. So that he didn't have to put him in with Dillian White. And Joshua, when do you hear Dillian White and Joshua mention Ortiz? You don't, do you? I'll come to that in a bit. I've got a Dillian White video coming up shortly that's going to gonna shock you all. But it is what it is. I've got stuff lined up this year that's going to blow people's minds away with my channel. What you have to do, you have to put your money where your mouth is and step up to the plate. Alright? Now I don't need access to boxers. They're going to come to me. I'm going to bring them to me. All right? That's what I'm going to do. People may laugh. Well, we're going to see. And if I fail, at least I had a go. So I want people to get behind me and hit that little red button underneath and give me a little bit of respect and get behind Porky's Corner. Because we say the things that nobody else dare say in British boxing. Nobody dare say. No one. Only me, Porky. I'm the one who fronts it out me. It's my channel, I can do what I want. You live by the sword, die by the sword, but it's my channel, Porky's Corner. I'm Porky, me, so get ready. And all them trolls, well, somebody else is dealing with emails now, so your emails, they won't be from me, but I'll get them read to me, and then I've, but I don't send them, so you'll get your answer. If you get a reply off email, it's from me. If you don't get a reply, it's because you're a hater. But if you send hate mail now, it goes into the spam. And we don't deal with spam. Just so you know, we wanted to we have no, no tolerance this year on haters and, uh, and trolls. But it is what it is, isn't it? So, but will Tyson go? Yeah, he will go. He will go. And uh, is Eddie Hearn bothered? No, he's not bothered. He'll get him to sign something and that's it. It will end up in court. I told Peter Fury. I said, look, Tyson and Frank will end up in court. That's how it goes. It will end up in court because Frank loves court, doesn't he? And I think it's a shame because Frank Warren's delivered on it for Tyson Fury. But if he fights Wilder, he fights him twice. But I don't think he will. If he is fighting him twice this year, why is there no press to her? Why? Why would you put a fight on like that? £25 pay-per-view and no press to her. It just doesn't add up, does it? It doesn't add up and I ain't buying it. I'm not buying it, so I could be wrong. I might be wrong. Who knows? But, you know, he got rid of Ben Davidson. He got rid of Mick Hennessy. He got rid of Peter Fury. And he'll get rid of Frank Warren. That's just how it goes. It's business. It's just like me buying cars from, you know, I used to get them from Bawtree Auction and now I get them from some guy in Swinton who's related to Mick Whale. You just go from one to other. I don't owe them note at Bawtree Auction, do I, if I want to buy a car? I'll go to somewhere else and get them on if I want to buy myself a car or get me pals a car. You look after yourself, nobody owes you anything in this world. Nobody owes you anything in this world, so peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing. Shout out to Robin Reed Multivitamins, where are they? I'm going to have a nurse with mate. Shout out to Robin Reed Multivitamins, hope you're well Robin, I'll see you soon. There you go, Robin Reed Multivit. Shout out to Innovation Alloys at Sheffield, thank you for, back, for uh, backing channel, bum bum AJ. Shout out to Kev Arl at uh, South Yorkshire Packaging. So, thank you very much for backing the channel, you know, man of your word. Shout out to all them that have helped me with the channel as well, Rico, Nicola, K Official. So, peace out, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and back the Porky Movement, okay? Boom!